Welcome to our Harmony Power broadcast. I have a very special guest. Uh, his name is Michael Griffiths. And I got to tell you, you know, I'm first of all, I'm blessed that he's one of the teachers of Harmony by Karate. And I've heard his story several times. And I'm, you know, the more I thought about it, I says, well, you know, he's really a model of, of just a great human being and a person who's led his life by example, have gone through incredible adversity, come out the other side, just a happy person and wanting to give back to the world with what he does. And he's a teacher with me. So I, you know, it's, it's not just me recognizing people outside of what I do, but I realize I need to recognize people that are close to me that are quite amazing. Um, but I thought maybe you'd share just a, a little bit of your story in the past. Like the, first of all, the film, the, the movie that you made, uh, the mm -hmm. name of that movie, some of the the people that were in that film, and how mm -hmm. that impacted the planet. Sure, I'd love to. Um, let's see, my story begins with meeting Sensei John back in 93, and we uh, worked out at a dojo in, uh, in the old Reebok Sports Club, which is now Equinox, and uh, had a great dojo there and a good start. I had gotten married to, by happenstance, to a very wealthy person, and I was lucky enough to be able to produce a movie before the one we're talking about. It was a commercial movie, and it did really well. So I had had plenty of money to back me up on doing this um, this movie called Beyond Our Differences, which mm -hmm. is basically a movie about how all the old religions basically carry one tenet, and which is to love thy neighbors, love thyself. And I had uh, the fortune of interviewing Deepak Chopra, um, Desmond Tutu, the Dalai Lama, Karen, Karen Armstrong, which is she's a really good writer. She wrote a book called God, and um, and a couple of others. It's it's hard to name them all. About twenty people that were leaders of their own religions and. Uh, it was great because each one of them talked about where they got their faith, where they found faith, why they became the people that they are, how they became the people that they were. And the story goes that almost all of them have very similar stories, that uh, they all came to faith through some happenstance and through some study. And all the answers turned out to be the same, that we are all tr searching for the same thing, which is peace and love and kindness generosity harmony and uh and it was pretty amazing to see how it all came together it was very successful it went on uh pbs a couple times it's it's something you can rent now on zoom i mean on uh amazon and uh i'm really proud of it it's, it's, it'll last the test of time because these guys were great the people i interviewed were great and their message was undeniable so i really enjoyed that experience yeah, I mean, I watched it and I was really blown away by the quality and the content, how educational it was. It was definitely, um, definitely to me, one of the greatest spiritual films of our time because of the education of it. And and it, you know, really establishing that oneness that people talk about, right? So all these belief systems are like spokes in the tire, right? I, yet everyone's fighting for the, the, the main belief of the planet, what everyone should follow. So... People will follow their faith at the expense of others. And I think this film really opened up people's minds and hearts to the fact that it is all one thing, whatever that belief might be. And I said, I really appreciated it a lot because, you know, with bullying uh, in particular uh, and, and, you know, mass shootings and wars and all these, all this violence, uh, when people are angry, they're attacking human differences and religion's a big thing. And that's why I felt that this movie was that profound that they should uh, see this film. Uh, say the name again. It's beyond our differences. Beyond, say beyond, beyond our differences. Beyond our differences. It get better than that, especially today's day and age. Just hearing that those words, people should be renting that out. And yeah, going beyond, going beyond the everyday things that people are confused with, and realizing that we're all one is the idea of the picture. Uh, you know, now there was, you, you had mentioned you had uh, made personally like $7 million from the film. Is that correct? Is that number correct? Yeah, I mean, with the, with the money that I 
kind of came into being married to my wife and the success of the movie that I made before, which was called Living in Oblivion, a comedy film, but with some pretty good people in it. It did very well, went to Sundance and won some awards. So I took the money and, and uh, put it together and had, yeah, had about a $7 million cachet, so to speak. And I was thinking about making another movie. But now with the loss of that, this is the thing. You mentioned there was a loss and, and you know, briefly, if you can share that loss, losing it all. And, you know, what did you gain inside by losing? How did you lose it all? What did you gain inside by losing it all? Right. Well, I lost it all in a bad divorce. And that was a very sad situation, as all of them are. But it was relatively a healthy breakup. And uh, I was left to, to start completely from scratch all over again. And uh, I learned that it it, it take a, took some inside inside meditation and prayer to, to to figure out that what that was to me was a gift, but it was easily taken away. And I was left with the situation where I, I had to make my own gift, my own choices, my, my own uh, you know re relive my my who I was. Mm -hmm before the money started and uh, who I was, I was a strong person and I had direction and faith and I just started taking it one day at a time. I really had to let go of the idea that I was set for life and that my life was just beginning now. Well, it's interesting perspective because you know, we've had so many people come into the program, you know, whether they come from, you know, an underprivileged community and they're, uh, they're on scholarship or they're in our instructor training program, or they're that person that has billions, whatever it might be. I'm not, to me, we're into the human being and, and, and what they can get from the experience with us. Uh, that's the Harmony by Karate uh, School and what you've, you know, spoke about in, in the beginning in 1997. The Harry Power is the, the birth of that is from Harmony by Karate, standing up to bullying and standing for human equality. That's why I thought honoring you at the Harmony Power Award because of the film uh, is one big thing. And then equal to that, you know, having all, lost everything materially, but gained so much in yourself and empowered yourself to move forward, um, is another aspect that's leading by example to the world and being a better human being from the great adversity is the other reason. So I just thought it was extraordinary. So, you know, I do have extraordinary teachers that are impacting lives in Harmony by Karate, but my chari our charity needs to recognize those within, such as you, Michael. That's why I wanted to today, I wanted to take this, this special time and, uh, you know, here's what I'm going to read the award, but I'm going to show it to you. Thank you very much. The award, you can see it in the screen. Yep. Yeah, sure I can. Thank you. And it says certificate award. Michael Griffiths has been awarded this certificate that for dedication, commitment, outstanding efforts in promoting harmony in the world. So I will bring this to you when I see you in person. That's uh, wonderful. But I really, I thought it was so important to take the moment to to do this and let the world know, uh, because they'll see the broadcast, they'll, get, they'll know you, if they don't already, they'll know you a little better, because uh, you're really a model of, of what the world should be. Because how yes, you I wanted to say, I just wanted to say that uh, working and teaching at Harmony Dubai Karate was a big part of my resurgence into feeling good about myself, doing something I thought was worthwhile. Uh, I think it's fantastic that we teach the kids first to, to try to avoid any sort of conflict, but be able to handle themselves if someone, you know, wants to bully them or, or take advantage of them. So it made me feel good and still does that I can teach and, and learn from that, learn from that for myself. And uh, it makes me feel good about what I'm doing. But thank you very much for the award. It's amazing. Well, it, it, it's an honor to be able to do this and it's a, you know, I'm so happy that I'm able to take this time today to do this with you. So thank you. Thank you. And uh, and I will, like I said, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to hand this to you myself. That's great. I'll be looking forward to that very much. Thank you, thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Sensei.